Rouge. Angry Zap, Furious Zombie. Yeah, okay. nothing. There we go. Yeah, don't open the chest because it's trapped. Is it? Oh. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. No. <laughs> huh. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Crackpack with the Crackpots. I'm Phil Dolphus, and when I woke up in my house, there was this random cow in my house. I don't know how it got here, or what it's doing, but um, it's made itself quite at home. As you can see, it's come up to the uh, second floor here. And, yeah, I have no idea how this guy got in here. I don't remember it being in here when I logged off last time. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll just leave him to his devices up there. So I have been on the server since I recorded last. Did some did a little work with the garden. Added a few more, um, a few more different kinds of plants. I found some, found the, uh, the a lot of the water plants that I didn't have before. So I have water chestnuts, seaweed, rice, cranberries, a bunch of things like that. So, and I hear Josh coming back now. Hello. 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 Hopefully you'll get to talk a bit more this episode than last episode. <laughs> I realized it was a little bit, a little bit boring. Just talking talk. No, the ah, last episode. What? My sword. I threw it. <laughs> Where'd she throw it? Oh, no, we're, we're, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. That's good. Oh. All right. Well, so today I want to talk a little bit about um, nodes and Thomcraft. Uh, since we didn't get around to, wasn't able to do it in the last episode. Uh, but nodes are a very important th part of Thaumcraft, and they're uh, part of what the thermometer is really useful for is that it makes them much more visible than they otherwise would be. So I happen to know that there's one out this way. Uh, if I can find my gate, here we are. Now nodes are um, kind of like, uh, they're, they're Aura nodes is their official name. They're kind of like these little sources of Okay, concentrations of magical energy. So you can see there's one right here in the middle of my screen. It's very, very faint. You can kind of see it when I move around, like that. And if I punch it, it sparkles. But uh, you can break it, so you want to be careful with punching it. Now, if we back up here and we look at it with a thermometer, you'll see that it becomes much more, much more visible. Quite brilliant there, actually. So we can scan these just like anything else. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And... You back up by the house. What? You back by the house. Yeah, I'm back by my house. Why? Oh. I just been flying around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not that I'm up to anything. <laughs> Never up to anything, really. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. So this is a normal R node, which are the most common R nodes. This one, as you can see, has Air, Perdicio, and Terra in it. So it's your pretty basic, pretty standard node. Um, they'll have different. They'll have different aspects in them. Um, typically they'll have, usually most of them will have the six primal aspects, and then sometimes you'll find nodes that have uh, various compound aspects, but they're a bit more rare. So this is pretty good, it's got three of the different types of aspects. So what we're going to do here is get out, um, actually get out all the stuff that I put in my backpack here, including huh. this uh, huh. iron-capped wooden wand that I made in the last episode and barely used. So remember those little, those bars in the upper left corner there that represent the six primals? So what you can actually do is you can draw energy from these R nodes in the form of, it's called V. And yes. it, yes, <laughs> it's spelled V-I-S, but it's usually pronounced V or Vs. Yes. Um, anyway, if you right click on the node with the um, wand here, it'll start draining it. You see that, that effect there, and you see that those, those bars in the upper left-hand corner are starting to fill up there. Um, let's see, so this wand can hold up to, uh, if I hold shift here, if I sneak, it'll show numbers for how much of each, how many units of each V is in, of each type is in the wand right now. Uh, so I've got nine air, nine terra, and eight perdicio there. This is a, uh, this is your basic um, iron, a stick uh, can only hold, using a stick for your wand core can only hold um, up to 25 of each type of V. But we're going to start, we're going to start collecting it because we're going to need it for various things in the future, for crafting and stuff like that. So we'll just keep drawing here until we either fill up or we completely drain what's in the node here, which is what it looks like has happened. Yeah, okay. So we're full on air. We've got 22, British, or 22 Terra and 16 Bredicio there. Um, Some would say you... full on hot air. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So you can see that we've now drained the uh, the Bredicio and Terra there. They're both down to zero. Most nodes, nodes will slowly regenerate their V over time. Um, although if you do drain them completely, like we've done here, which you can do with a um, iron-capped wooden wand very easily, um, they do have a chance of not replenishing that particular V. But most of the time, it should just come back to uh, to it'll it'll build back up to whatever levels it had before. Well, it takes a while. It takes you know 
maybe half an hour, an hour to fully, um, fully finish. So I'm just kind of walking around here with the thermometer, looking for additional nodes. Um, so the cool thing about the thermometer is that it actually makes nodes visible even through objects. So in fact, if I look back over towards where we saw that other one, that, so you can see it's it's visible there in the center of my screen, barely, um, even through the uh, the solid, the dirt right there. So. All right, so it's becoming nighttime here. I'm probably going to go in and sleep and make it morning really quick. And uh, before I go out looking for any additional nodes. Though you may remember that we have a node right near our base already. Bury the Hungry node over here. Um, Wait, it's a little bit far it? off. To, yeah, remember? We named it. No. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like a, it's like a pet. We can't, we can't ever get rid of it now. Pet? You yeah. Name, when you start naming it, you're going to start, you know, having feelings for it. And next exactly. thing you know going to be so comfortable with it, you'll do something completely, incredibly stupid you'll regret forever. Well, that's, you know, that's par for the territory with being a mad thaumaturge. Alright. Also, I just remembered I need to set my... Yeah, you mad thaumaturge. ...video I settings back you. up there. There we go. Sneak up on it. Sneak up yes. On so, uh... Hi there, Barry. So, Barry over here is an example of a hungry node, which are quite rare, actually. They only have about a 1% chance to, of uh, spawning. Also, I can't see him from here, so I'm going to go into bat form and fly over there. I don't know how I'm holding this thermometer in front of my face with the no hands, but whatever. <laughs> so if we come over, you can see there. You can see him in the, the center there. He's kind of glowing. So hungry nodes, like I said, are very... Oh, he's eating a bat. That wasn't you, right? <laughs> ah, what? Um, nothing. Right. All of a sudden... Oh, so hungry nodes are. Uh, in fact, you can kind of. I can feel them very slowly pulling me in right now. I'm not. I'm not actually moving on my own at the moment. It's just pulling me in. So hungry nodes will um, basically eat stuff nearby them. I think I talked about this before. Uh, they act. They act just like other nodes. If you can get close enough with a wand, yeah, I'm going to pull back before he pulls me and eats me there. But if you can get close enough, you can actually pull a V from them with a wand, just like anything else. In fact, whenever they eat something, they have a very small chance of taking. Oh, hi there. <laughs> nice shot. Hilton, watch out. <laughs> There's one in the pool there if you haven't seen him. Watch out, he, he shoots you. Hey! hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, there is. Dug back. <laughs> Hi there. Ow. See what happens? You hit my buddy. Got him. He's got a backpack of some sort on. That was kind of cool. Uh, I think it was armor. But was yeah. it armor? It's kind of weird. I, I changed the... You probably noticed I changed the, um, the config for morph, so it now shows your nameplate over your head when you're in morph form. Oh, what? <laughs> I got a little bit tired of like trying to figure out which bat was you in the cave, so... <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Hungry oh, Nodes are a... Uh, hungry Nodes are a very rare, um, very rare kind of node. Um, but like yep. I said, they, they can increase their V store, but depending on what they, on the aspects I of things they eat... I the water hole in front of my house. <laughs> so they can actually um, serve as really useful uh, garbage cans and... Uh, really large um, stores of bee later on in the game. So we may have to do something with Barry later on. That will be, uh, there's one or two Thaumcraft add-ons we've got that um, can be really, oh, uh, really useful for that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I should plant a, plant this uh, essence berry bush the house. Oh so yeah, I left, uh, left some presents for you there. He lost again. Oh, you hear that? He gave you guys a home so you'll never be lost. You have each other to take care of. Your, I'll take care of you too, okay? Yep, you didn't, you'll never you didn't be lost your, again, I agree. You didn't look in your chest. Here. Oh, I have a what? Also, I gave you a cake here. That's it's a cake. cherry cheesecake. You're standing Ooh. on it. Waypoint compass. Oh, look at that. Isn't it cute? He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, the chest or the compass? The chest. Oh yeah, they are cute, aren't they? Yeah, the, I don't know. What, I don't know how to use this. This is like science stuff. I'm out of here. No, so it, it's it's very simple. I I've set it. I've marked it so that it always points to uh, roughly right about here. I think. Here. Yeah, right about here. Let me see. So you just take it. Uh huh. And, and then, then. Excuse me. Then wherever you are, it'll uh, it'll point back to home. Oh. So you'll never need to be lost again. Oh, this north, south, west, east thing. All right. No. It just points directly back to the house. I have a saddle, so how do I do this? And I, I brought some chocobos in for you. I have a saddle on you. Me a feather. Have Come a feather. on, you love it. Isn't there, um, doesn't need to make like take a... The take the saddle! Take the saddle! Do you need to make like a chocopedia or something? There's like a book you can make? 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be around if I keep getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, those poor chocobos. Maybe I shouldn't have brought them in here. <laughs> They're Ooh, fine. Yes. It's not like, you know, I'm gonna slaughter them. <laughs> I mean, they don't drop anything but a little feather anyway, so... Uh, yeah. maybe I need to give them feathers, I don't know. Yeah, I don't love know. Love me, love me! Alright. Nope. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do real quick is uh, fly around with my uh, thermometer out, which is course. definitely much easier with the when you can fly rather than having to walk, and look for some nodes, see if we can fill up all the different the uh, all six of the primal aspects on our wand. I've here. got a barrow down idea. <laughs> yes, so that's another idea. I wanted to illustrate some of the different types of. Um... Actually, we could just go ahead and do that right now if you want. I was going to illustrate Likes some of the, the barrow down. different types of, uh, of nodes. I think Berries I'm prepared. Eating some calamari. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where okay, are great. you? Now you got me called a berry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm coming after you. Let's go to the closer barrow down rather than the farther one. Uh, sure. You you take the lead. I, the only one I know is the one I went to. Okay, so. hold still. Let me double check. It's over... I'm here. It's over right... Yeah, it's just right over there. It's pretty pretty close. Right yeah, it's there. basically just straight over this way. Great directions. <laughs> I was Mind talking to directions for those, everybody. It's over here. I'm over here. I'm right here. Uh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Where's here? Yes. <laughs> I'm pointing with my sword, can't you tell? Oh, wait, I'm that form. <laughs> All right, so it's just over this way, past the past the two ravines here. You can see in the distance there. Hey, there it is. Now, you notice that the grass around it's all gotten really dark. That's because this is Barrow Downs, or actually they're, they're technically called Hollow Hills. We usually call them Barrow Downs. They have um, a special type of node inside them called a dark node, although the thumb refers to it as a sinister node. Let's go full health, full human form here. You can see it there through the through the ground. Um, and they also have, they're gonna have various spawners and things in there. Uh, I should put torches on my hotbar. There we go. And I should probably put a bow. And I should probably eat something really quick here. Got some starfruit juice. I'll make some starfruit juice here. There you go. Yeah. I'm numb. Yeah. All right, so these these uh, barrow downs usually have a couple different spawners, uh, zombie and skeleton spawners in them. So we're gonna have to go in and try and take them out, and then uh, we'll take a look at that node in the center once, uh, once we've cleared this out. Right, go for it. Do your right. thing. It's, you know, hack away. I gotta take a nap. Skeleton, he's down. Start lighting it up here. Skeleton coming up. Ow. Yeah, charge. Excuse me, coming through. The skeleton behind you, you somehow. Oh, zombie. Skeleton, got him. Light it up, light it up, light it up. Get out of the way, I'm just trying to do this. Good job. There we go. Not Nicely you. done. Alright, we got, we got a bunch. That's a lot of guys in there. Oh, shot that zombie. Oh, there's even an angry zombie in there. Oh, there is. Yeah, so these nodes up here, the dark nodes, don't go ahead and scan here. Oh wow, so this one has a bunch of stuff in it. It's got, uh... Yeah, as you can see, it's got Air, Exanimus, Mortus, Spiritus, and Tenebrae. So this one has a bunch of combat asp aspects and only a single, uh, single primal aspect. Uh, oh, yeah, let me, oh. Right. Go in here and do this. Oh, shoot. Angry Zombie. Furious Zombie. Okay. Yeah, okay. Nothing. There you go. Yeah, don't open the chest, because it's trapped. Is it? Oh. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. No. <laughs> Huh. The, the wiki page I was reading said it would be. But, um, oh, I just scanned you, Josh. You have Humanus, Potentia, Vacuos, and Volatus. Okay. Now, yeah, Volatus seems very appropriate. Look at that. Have you already okay, so that's good that wasn't, <laughs> good that wasn't, uh, wasn't actually trapped like, uh, like I thought it was going to be. Coins! Coins! Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll give you those. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, I need a remark. I've got a few of those, so that's cool. Yeah. All right, well, maybe we can just go take out that second one. That was quite quick. I just want to see if I can grab anything more. Actually, I think I'm full on air, so yeah, I can't actually... Okay, so I noticed that my wand now has um, has a little bit of uh, Ignis, Aqua, and and Ordo there. That's because when you kill various mobs, they'll drop little um, little tiny orbs that you can't really interact with other than that they'll they'll fill up your... Um, they'll, they'll have various primal aspects, and they'll fill up your wand if you have if you're carrying a wand on you. Uh, oops. All right, let's go to that other one. All right, lead the way. 
Uh, oh, great it's magician. This way. Yeah, I think it's this way. You have to use a map? You're a magician. You should know what you're doing. The wand <laughs> should point the way or some kind of wave your fingers it's, it's and pointing. snap and we're there. It's pointing me this way. See? A mighty magician. Oh my goodness. Second one. I should have been looking out for other nodes around here, I suppose. Round two. Alright. That one, first one went pretty well. Oh, now you set it up. <laughs> All kinds of problems now. Yeah, I know, I just realized. Oh, there's a creeper here for one. To your right, creeper. I'll let you. Uh... There you go. Thank you. you oh, go. I, made the, I made the mistake of um, letting a uh, concussion down there. There's also a witch. There's a witch up here, more importantly. And a bunch of skeletons. Okay, witch is down. Uh, skeletons are down. I'm being poisoned. Alright, uh... I'm covering you from up here, buddy. I'll take out that creeper. Alright, there is a... I'm down. I'm lighting it up here. I am poisoned for another 13 seconds. Then we're good. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't really want to die down here. Let me just light it up. Here, do it myself. Here we go. Alright, check and make sure yeah, there isn't a trap okay. chest before no, you open not. it. Okay. Finally, the poison wears Ooh, off. Jiga rubber sapling. Hoo hoo. Oh, okay. Yoink. Coin. Yeah, you know, I have this stuff in my backpack, which is not on my hut. I Ooh, steel boots. You want some of those? Uh, I'm Lander good. pearls, I'll take those. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in my backpack, I think. There's Actually, some broken yeah, spawners think... if you want them. No. I think they're really not spawners. I'm at the um, <laughs> I'm at the uh, safari nets actually. That's what I meant to say. Oh yeah, those will want. Yeah, definitely. Uh, All right, I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat a. Oh, let's eat the soft pretzel I made. That looks pretty good. Net. I'm heal up a bit here. I'm a half a heart. Man, this backpack mess. I gotta do something oh, <laughs> more. Oh, an uncommon it's treasure. I should scan that while I'm at it. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Lots and lots of liquor. You want the witch hat? Nah. That's reliquary. I'm just not. I'll take not it. I've done yeah, go for it if you want. Can I put it on? <laughs> I don't think I so. I can. Oh, can you? yeah. Oh, you can. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's, um, it's it's not for you. Uh, I'll oh, show you, a wizard. <laughs> it's, uh, have you, look at yourself. The top is a little bit. It looks like you squashed it. I <laughs> it looks like a it looks like a very short pilgrim hat right now. <laughs> Here, maybe come oh, outside right. first. It does kind of... <laughs> it's a little bit, a bit squashed. I'm, I'm yes. Amish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm an Amish dwarf. Oh, I forgot to go skin that note, didn't I? Let me go. Get it, die. Come on, we go plow the field and scan this the cow. Right here. Oh, so this one only had air and perdition in it, which I'm full of both those. But I see there's another note over in that direction. So let's go check it out. I die fall night. Here it is. It is looks like it's gonna have some air and terror. Oh, Tempest. Okay. Wait, you took off. Where'd you go? I just on the other side of the barrow down. So Tempest is um stands for time. And uh it, it comes from one of the add-ons to Thumbcraft, uh, Magic Bees, I believe. Um, and we're already full on air and terra already. So in fact oh, we've got see it. we've got up uh, we've got twelve weakness, that's our lowest aspect. And that's, uh, we're probably okay at that at this point. We can probably do some crafting. So let's say, let's head on back. Oh, have I scanned? I don't think I've scanned sunflowers yet. Nope. Head on back. Head on back. Head on back. Right. Falling man. Nice scan. Ah, nothing can be learned from that. All right. All right. It's... Have you scanned the goblin yet? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not sure if they can be scanned. Are there, is there one around here? The goblin hut right there. Find you. Oh, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean there'll be a goblin in it. Well, yeah, he's in there. I hear him. Oh, he's okay. Knock, knock. Hello. There's a skeleton behind you, by the way. I just found me. Oh, you want nuggets? Cobalite. Got him. Cobalite nugget. Hello there. Oops. Just want, to, just want to scan you, sir. Excuse me. Oh, don't move. Oh. Oh, cognition, That's humanus, mojus, and census. Nice. Scanning people in their houses, maybe? <laughs> You work for some sort of secret agent government? <laughs> My little brother thought I said scam. I was gonna go scam the villagers. <laughs> Which well, is I mean, pretty funny. Yeah, too, I suppose. You know, actually, I'm gonna need this cauldron later on. Maybe I'll just, um... You get villagers, I should be closer to this village. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this thing over here, actually, I was going to point out, this is a, uh, a totem pole, which uh, from Thomcraft, it kind of randomly scattered around the world. You notice it's doing the same... It's got another um, dark node in it, so it's kind of it's it's slowly changing the environment around it, the biome around it, to be an eerie biome. And uh, I've scanned obsidian totem, but I haven't scanned this obsidian tile. Ow! Don't shoot me. I'm doing scientific research here. And so this node has a ton of stuff: air, Xanimus, ignis, mortus, Spritichio, tenebrae, and terra. So we're not able to get. Okay, we can fill up some of our ignis here anyway. There we go. Oh, looks like a skeleton is shooting a. Oh, the creeper's gonna blow up. Oh, and the creeper blew up. Okay, so these dark nodes also have the property of spawning uh, these furious zombies that you can see right here, which I should probably scan one up here. There we go. And so these zombies are kind of like, they're like normal zombies, because they have red eyes, and whenever you hit them and they take damage, they get bigger. So oh, see that worked good. I got too cool on that one. Oh, I'm gonna die here. I better fly away. <laughs> so you can see if these zombies are getting bigger as they get shot there. Get some veggie strips here. There we go. All right, I should probably head out of here before I end up dying. <laughs> I'm on one, half a, one and a half hearts, so. Yeah, I'm gonna fly back home now, I think. Well, you could get to your normal size and just run back home. Yeah, but then I'd have to, you know, counter all the guys and stuff, <laughs> all the mobs. Much safer to just fly. Which way was home all that way? Uh, That's you've got your compass now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going the right way. Oh, good. Now, if only you could so, get something you know, that points out where I am at all times, right? I know, right? I've often wished I had a, I had a mod like that. Help, turning your nameplate on will help quite a bit, because now I'll be able to find you when you're in bat form. Or a skeleton form. <laughs> all right, home sweet home. If we're having a primal aspect, obviously, that doesn't those aren't made up of anything, but for hover over any any compound aspect. Cow, would you get off my research table? Excuse me. I'm trying to work here. Thank you. Cool cow.